We continue our review of the maintenance area of Envision Manager by focusing on macros and triggers. Firstly, we review macros. A macro allows you to define a sequence of actions which can then be executed directly using a schedule, trigger or console button. Under the Maintenance tab from the Overview screen, we can see the Macros section. Click on Go to Macros. On the screen, notice a macro has already been created. On the right side of the screen, it is broken into Properties and Actions. The Properties section shows the name of the macro and gives the option on how many times the macro actions will run. Below that, the actions of the macro, in sequential order, are listed. We will now create a new macro. Left click on New Macro and scroll up to the Macro Properties. For this macro we will create a lighting pathway for one of the levels of our project. First step is to name our macro. We will call it Lighting Pathway. The pathway will only light once so the loop value remains 1. Now select Edit Actions to define the actions of the macro. Our first action is to activate a preset in an area so we choose the option Preset. Then select the relevant area from the drop down list. For our example our first area is the waiting area. The preset we require is High so we click on OK to add the action to our list. There will now be a delay between the first and second action. Click on Add Delay and then define the delay time as 2 seconds. We next create a preset command for our second area. which will be the main boardroom. We will change the preset to medium. We require another 2 second delay, so we highlight the previous delay and choose the duplicate option. Notice how the delay is added at the bottom of our list. The final action of the lighting pathway is then added. Now the actions have been added, the macro can be tested from here by clicking on Start. We are now going to review the other macro that is already stored. Highlighting the DALI macro, we can see that the macro is set to run once. Let's change that value to Unlimited. By clicking Start the Macro, it will now begin and run continuously until it is instructed to stop. There are many ways to approach this scenario, but on the Macro screen you will notice there is the ability to pause and stop a macro. We clicked on Pause Macro. This information is then reflected in the icon shown next to the macro name. It can also be seen from the Maintenance Overview screen. Back on the Macro screen, we will stop the macro running. Macros can be executed in any part of Envision Manager where actions can be added. For example, we will go to add a new schedule. Notice anywhere where actions can be added, we have the option of Macro Control, which allows us to both start and stop a macro. Macros can also be added to the console screen. On our screen, we have the DALI macro as a button, allowing us to start and stop when required. 
For more information on the console screen, refer to the relevant training video. Next we will look at triggers. Triggers are defined in the system to start automatically based on a defined action. The first example we will define is a preset trigger. In the previous example we created the DALI macro which will now trigger the macro to start by changing the preset in the reception area to preset 5. First we click on new trigger then we name the trigger and choose the event type of preset. We then choose our reception area and further down we select the preset of 5. Click on Edit Action to choose what the trigger will activate. We choose the action of Macro Control and then select our DALI Macro to start. Click on OK to complete. We will now view the sitemap to see the trigger activate. Changing the reception to preset 5 triggers the macro. Notice the sequence of lights coming on. And also notice that the RGB light turns blue as part of the sequence. Triggers can also be created from alerts. We will create a trigger that responds to a DALI lamp failure alert. We choose New Trigger and name the trigger Failure Trigger. Our event type is Alert. with the type being Lamp Failure. To demonstrate the trigger, the action we create will be to change the colour of the RGB light to red. This will happen when a lamp failure is detected. Returning to the sitemap, a DALI lamp failure has occurred in the new office. Notice the RGB light immediately changes to red. Going back to the trigger screen, we have created an example of an extra trigger to turn the RGB light off once the lamp has been restored. Looking at the sitemap screen, as the lamp is replaced, notice the change of colour on the sitemap. That concludes the maintenance section on macros and triggers.